So the question was uh, how to make a head for the uh, evolution trip. And um, I've gotten a lot of calls about that and a lot of questions. So I decided to make a video. Uh, this is specifically for Dr. Julian Hurt, um, who called today. Um, so use about this much uh, epoxy. If you can see it, let me go back to the non-zoom. So it's two little blurbs. If you see my finger, it's a pretty small amount. Um, and mix them. I use a nail. That way I can just throw it away. I have a whole box of nails. And I mix and toss. So I mix it up. Let it start to set. And you'll have five minutes. Once you get it mixed up, you only need a little bit. That's why I don't use a lot. I don't start with a lot and I don't end up with a lot. As you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit there. It's not a whole lot. You're just basically putting some in between the, uh, the weight and not letting it get too far. I have a rotary vise. I think it's kind of essential for a lot of different reasons. Just kind of keep it spaced. As you can see, it's not a lot. You're not putting big globs on there. Um, it's just enough to kind of fill up the space between the heads or between the um, the ends of the weight. I usually put the uh, the card that I'm using under, and that way, if any drips, it catches on. Um, this particular uh, th th this is a green. It's an olive version that I I've been tying for our trip to Belize and also for the El Palomatero, which is in May. So I have this water here in a little bowl and I dip my finger in and that's basically to make sure that the epoxy doesn't stick to my finger. The water doesn't affect the hardening or the drying of it. This is a chemical reaction. It just makes sure that it's not sticky. So what I'll do is I'll start to pat and it's starting to get dry. And you can see that there's not a lot of uh, epoxy on there. Started off with a very small amount. And that's what we'll end up with, but we'll just spread it out. So I just tap it down. And honestly, if you're pretty neat about it, this is sufficient. But I like to shape them and smooth them. I did this clear with no color. It doesn't really matter. Color's not important. But you can see that there's not a lot to it. Good thing about making videos is your five minute epoxy is actually timed by your video. So if you don't know how long, just look at your video length. Hopefully you guys won't be doing this. Again, to get a little water, dip the finger in. And once it starts to set, I like to pinch it. It's a little hard to do it with a video. I'll try to move this a little. Nope, not gonna happen. So I'm gonna angle this up a little bit. I like to get in and actually pinch the nose. And then I pinch the sides and mash the sides. 
and you can see if you don't need the water, it sticks to your finger. I just kind of keep it narrow, try to make sure it's even on both sides because it'll swim better. If it's uneven, it'll wobble. If it's even, it'll swim straight. I also sometimes wet the fibers. This one had ample space, so I didn't need to do it. But as you can see, once the head's made, it's pretty good. I'm going to take it out of the vise and hold it here for you. So this is the mashing of the nose and then shaping of the nose. And then you can do the same, just pinch it down. And as you run your finger over it, it gets pretty smooth. And then you can see by the profile, it's pretty flat. So that's how you make the head. It's pretty easy. It just looks complicated. Hope this helps.